Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the week ahead. So it's, it's really the 17th through the 23rd, but you know the timing is fluid. So we're just going to go from today, which is the 18th to the end of the month for you, Scorpio. We're going to take these. Um, so yeah, we're going to see whatever comes up. It's for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from now until the end of the month. Keep in mind that this reading might not be for you, okay? Because, I mean, there's a lot of people that don't understand that. And it's, it's it sucks that I have to say it every time, but some people don't get it. They'll write, I'm confused. Well, then the reading wasn't for you, okay? So generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. If you're in a happily ever after relationship and you're married and everything is good, then you should not be watching tarot readings. It's just going to fuck up your life, all right? There's no need to watch them if... You are in a happily ever after relationship. To me. I mean, that's my opinion. But you can do whatever you want. You need to listen to your intuition at this time. You are receiving messages. Be sure that you are listening. You have a divine connection. So really, really, really pay attention. Okay? This right here, something is holding you back. Something is holding you back from starting a new chapter and I'm, I'm really feeling like you need to shed because the magician sheds so there's something you need to be willing to let go of to, to move forward and your intuition is probably you probably know what this is okay now the magician uses all of his resources to bring success to their lives uses that divine resource okay trusts him in himself and this is a test it's a test a test of your endurance Ooh. oh a test of your strength a test of your intuition as well are you gonna follow it or not I mean that's what the test is now it feels that five of swords is Standing back up on your own two feet after being brought down. So maybe you need to stand up and, and do something. Take that sword out of your back by the looks of things. Stand up and walk away from something. I don't know what it is. Ooh. There you are. This is you. You could also be dealing with a, another a man. If you are a man, this is you. If you are a woman, you could be dealing with a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio man. So if you are a man, this is your energy. You could be waiting for an earth sign. I don't know. If you're a man, you could be waiting for an earth sign. I'm not sure. Now, this right here is believe in yourself. Again, inner guide. Okay, intuition, inner guide. It's about faith and trust in destiny, in divine timing, okay, so make sure if you've lost your faith and trust in divine timing, bring it back, because it's real, it's real, I feel like you guys are mastering your emotions very well at this time, but somebody has been brought down, and they need to stand back up, wow, become alive again, wow, okay, so, This is, this is universally driven. It's universally. These changes that are happening or are about to happen, they may not, they're happening, but they may be not happening at the speed that you would like, are divinely guided for you. You need to release something. You've been holding on to something for too long. Something that is stable. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. It could be anything. It's something that you can touch. You're holding on to it, but it's like it's 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 causing you to now this card is upside down. It's the absence of a solid foundation. It's the absence of security. It's not really secure, even though you think it is. So why are you holding on to it? 
Now, then we have the Four of Swords right next to it. You're in a, you're in a situation that's making you feel lost on the inside. It's, it's, it's a lost cause, okay? It's a lost cause. It's what it is. It's like an emptiness. And you have so much love to offer. You do. Your inner guide is absolutely speaking to you, okay? Keep that in mind. Don't deny it. Don't doubt your thoughts at this time because you are receiving the messages that you need to move forward. Now, this is a lesson has been learned, the world cards. The last card in the deck, all the majors have been through, the fool through all the rest of them. All the steps have been conquer conquered, and now it's time to step over that finish line and start a new chapter, a real new chapter, which could be a commitment, a long-term commitment. But right now, it's halted. This new start is halted because you're, you're, it looks like you guys are hanging on to a dead-end situation. I mean, that's what this looks like. And you, that's the shedding that needs to happen. This is absolutely a test. It's a test of your self-love. It's a test of your endurance. It's a test of your insecurities. Can you face your insecurities? It may not be glamorous. It may not be pretty. And this, you know, this, this may not be what you want to hear. Or you may not want to be the one to deliver that communication to whoever it is that you know, that you're setting up some boundaries or you don't want this anymore, whatever it is. This is a, a message, an undesirable message. Undesirable. This is not what I want to hear. I don't even want to deal with it, really. Ooh, somebody's not being honest. This is an untrustworthy individual, somebody that steals your energy. And there's like, there's no forward movement. You guys are hanging on to something. It could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. I don't know. It could be any sign. You're hanging on to something that is kind of like, it's like stealing your power. It's stealing your drive. It's sucking your dry. And I think that you're ready to, to go through a new door. You know, you're, you're at a crossroads. You are. You're at a crossroads and you're ready to, to, to go to the light. It's like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to go through that, to go through that new doorway. I really am. I think that you, you have to make the decision. You know, do you want to stay in the safe zone? Do you want to keep staying where it's safe but hard to deal with? You're in a situation that's very hard to deal with. It is. It absolutely is. It may be stable, but it's very... There's a lot of bickering. There's a lot of harsh words. There's a lot of incompatibility because whoever you're dealing with doesn't think before they talk. It's like their common sense factor is lacking. And I feel as though you're you're ready. You're like, oh my God, I, I I know there's something more. I know there's something more. But you don't want to be the one to to use that sword. You know, you don't want to be the one. If they would just do it for you, it'd be so much easier. You know, you don't want the blood on your hands. That's what it looks like to me. So it feels as though um, you do have to make a decision, and you may you may. be in the process you could suddenly decide to leave this could be a sudden decision you know or you could suddenly decide to stay and that's exactly where you're at it's like i really there's a lot of indecision here you know there's something more but going through that door is going to cause probably some problems okay there's going to be some arguments there's going to be some some issues if you decide to go the new route you know you're going to have to face a very angry individual somebody's going to be very angry okay there's going to be some probably some some fighting okay somebody's going to be somebody's going to really
react in a negative way, okay, if you follow your own path. And now the very, the middle card is the whole basis of your reading, okay, the middle card. This is about believing yourself. Believe in yourself. Follow your own path. That's what the Hierophant is. Set your intentions. Follow your path. Are you listening to your inner guide? Are you really, 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 really listening? Are you going to let this person control you? Because it feels like you're being controlled by another person's behavior. And I think their behavior is keeping you stuck because you don't know what they're going to do. You don't know what they're going to do. If they're going to hurt, they, they, might, they might threaten to hurt themselves. Oh, you might, you know, I can't go on without you, that kind of thing. They might use that as a ploy. That's just an example. Whoever, you, whoever you're dealing with is kind of like a big baby. And, they, and I think that's why you are, you haven't went your own way. Anyway, things are halted. You're, you're blocking your new beginning. You're, you're blocking your, your, your new chapter. This is a blockage. It's a blockage. You're blocking love because these are the rods of love. Okay, you're blocking it because another individual is immature and they're holding you back from getting the love that you deserve. Oh, look, there's the, this, Jesus, this is the card of deserving, okay? So it's, it is, it is. You, you have so much love to offer, whether you're a man or a woman, Scorpio. You have, you deserve love. You deserve, and right now you're dealing with a bad karmic situation in which you are going to have to find your resources to shed it. That's exactly what this is. Whether it's a job or it's a relationship, somebody is in a situation that they don't want to be in. And you're... And, you're, and it's getting old. This holding on, Scorpio. This transformation that is needed. I mean, this is you. You... you Come on now. This transformation is needed for your highest good. But this and this holding on is getting old and it's it's killing you. It is. It's it's like stealing all of your energy. It really is. Resisting this 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 ending is is literally killing you. Stress kills. Everybody needs love. Everybody deserves love. And if you don't if you're not feeling loved then why why would you stay because somebody's manipulating somebody's you know you're trying to do the right thing right you're trying to do the right thing but this is also about making that final decision it's about doing the right thing for you what you deserve it's about these are these are i mean this is the these are this is like the major and this is like the minor it's about what you deserve it's about doing the right thing for you it's about making that decision that's going to balance out your life that's going to bring peace and harmony to your soul you have to do what's right for you and right now you're not because this death card is reversed and it does represent you you could be dealing with a libra you could be dealing with any sign, okay? I feel as though right now your your growth, your happiness, your new life is being hindered by another person, and you're trying to keep things balanced. You're trying to keep things. You're trying to keep the peace. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you have somebody else that is better suited for you. This is a new exciting opportunity that's waiting for you. And you know who it is. You do. But something is holding you back. And all you have to do is make that decision that's right for you. Think positive. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have somebody that's better suited for you. You've got one person who's immature. And then you've got one that's very wise. Man, woman, doesn't matter. This is very immature. This is very wise and mature. Okay? Two very different energies. Loyal, practical, responsible, stable, solid, predictable, unpredictable. Um, fly by the seat of their pants. No real solid plan. Very impulsive. Very uh, childish not child. two different options okay you have two different options here and one of them is is much better suited for you than the other one 
And I think that you know that what you need to do to balance out these scales. But you're going to have to cut somebody out. You're going to have to speak the truth. You're going to have to be honest. You're going to have to find that power within you to do what's right for you. And that's what this is about. I really feel as though you have a soulmate connection on the other side of this situation. Okay, you have a soulmate connection, but you are involved in the wrong one. And I'm sorry to tell you that. I am. I think that the soulmate connection is probably with an earth sign. Okay, we have we have okay, the the high priestess and the hierophant, they're they're soulmates. Queen and King of Pentacles are soulmates. Okay. So I do believe that we have a soulmate connection here and that's waiting for you. It's waiting for you. This is find your power, find your power, find your power. Be honest with yourself. Be honest. Right now, you're going to continue to get bad luck until you do. The universe will make it so uncomfortable for you until you do the right thing. And the right thing for you, 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 you. They will, this is making it uncomfortable uncomfortable for you because they want you to balance they want you to get what you deserve everybody deserves love and i don't see the two of cups i don't see the ace of cups i don't see the sex of six of cups i don't see the ten of cups i don't see the lover's card where is the love in the current situation that you're in it's not here it's not Somebody is needs to get real. Get real. It's time to communicate the truth. Because on the other side of this situation is what you deserve. It's a test. It's a test of your self-love. This is the only love card. And it's you. It's you. It is the only love card other than that eight of pentacles because it's the rock. I mean the eight of wands, but that, that eight of wands is reversed. So that's not love. It's your, okay? So it's not. The only other love card in this reading is you. Self-love. The test is self-love. I just cut the deck. Lovers reversed. You are involved in a false contract. It's not meant to be. There's too much. There's incompatibility. There's too much. There's too much arguing. You have somebody that's better suited for you. I already told you that. But you're going to have to be honest with yourself. I'm going to cut it one more time. Independence. Independence is better than being with the wrong one. This is enjoying. This is being grateful. This is closing a door. Becoming independent. Enjoying your life. Getting yourself back to where you need to be. But you're dealing, you're dealing with somebody who, this is the queen of denial. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Somebody that's very, very cunning, devious, tricky, lazy. Could be any sign, because we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius under here too. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're dealing probably with another person that is not putting in effort. Debbie Downer. Now your best matches are earth and water. Okay, so your best matches are earth and water. And you could you could look that up. So, I mean, if you if you are dealing with a fire sign or an air sign, it's going to be rocky. It's it is. It is.
so I feel as though somebody has to accept the truth, speak, wake up. This is awakening. Wake up. This is a somebody who wears a mask. Fake. No offense to all you cross watchers that are watching this. This is an energy. I'm not saying that you're fake. But um not pretending. Pretending. So, I think you know what you need to do. It ain't going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty. Will you do anything this week? Will they make any moves this week? Or will somebody make a move? Reluctant to move on. So, I think that, you know... There probably won't be any moves made by you this week. There's no moving on. Staying in the troubled waters. It's staying in the trouble. I'll, I'll, I'll sink. I'll just soon sink. I'll sit here and sink. So, Because you have to make the decision. It's up to you to make that decision to move on. Nobody can make it for you. So I think this is a week perhaps of maybe waking up, maybe coming to the conclusion that, you know, you are going through an awakening. Okay, you are absolutely going through some sort of awakening, but you're halting the transformation, the ending, the, the death that is needed. That's what this is. You're halting it. You absolutely are. You're taking your sweet little time making this decision. But there's no love still, still in these cards. In the current situation that you're in. No, oh, son of a bitch. I cut it again. You're stuck. You're stuck. And you know why? Because you're going to have to struggle through the pain. Okay? You're stuck. It's time to let go. And you're going to have... And you're trying to resist this change. And you have to struggle through it. You have to. That's what this is. You're going to have to struggle through it. And you're, and you're so... You, you don't want the struggle. One of life's lessons is struggle. On the other end of this is a soulmate connection. But you're being taken advantage of. You're acting naive. Refusing to take a risk. Whatever. Do whatever you want. Your intuition is giving you the answers. This absolutely is in regards to a partnership. It is in regards to love, I think. I think that you need to find your power. You need to find your power and start listening. Listen to your intuition. Face the struggle. Face the pain. Stop staying in a situation where there's too much. There's, it's like you're in freaking quicksand. It's like you're sinking. It's like, oh my God. There's, there's trouble. Wherever you're at, there's trouble. And you deserve love. You have so much love to offer. And I think you have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn on the other side that's waiting to, that the universe is waiting or they're waiting to love you. Impasse. Woohoo! Oh, ooh. Reflect and redirect your energy. Oh, it's the perfect card, isn't it? Turning back. And You've been turning back, that's for damn sure. Turning back isn't necessarily a failure. Sometimes it's the wisest thing you can do. If there's an area in your life where there's an impasse, the universe is telling you to use this as a time to reflect and redirect your energy in another way. Wisdom is knowing when to back down, turn around, and let it go. There are times in life to break through barriers. And there are times to just change the direction. There is an area in your life regarding relationships, business, finances, health, or life path that needs to be re-evaluated. Perhaps a new route is needed. And a new route is on your mind. I know it is. I know it is. Okay? 
If you reach an impasse in life, instead of protesting that it's unfair or unwarranted, change it. Change your course. Do it quickly and easily. Instead of focusing on what's not working, focus on what steps are needed to create a different outcome. This is the sign of a sage. The wise one views an obstacle as if it's impassable. He's, he's immediately steps back and goes a different way. Whatever the obstacle in your life, you have learned what you needed to learn. Now back away and choose a different path. <laughs> That's what it says. Whatever the obstacle in your life, you have learned what you've needed to learn. Remember I said we had the lesson has been learned. You've, it's done. It's done. Whatever the obstacle in your life, you have learned what you needed to learn. Now back away and choose a different path. Oh my goodness. There's your advice. If you're not in love, you shouldn't be where you're at. You have the power. It's in your hands. It's in your hands.